Hey, what is going on guys? My name is Tom Spark. What the fuck did I just say? Hey, what is going on guys? My name is Tom Spark. Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about how to avoid or bypass common V... We're going to be talking about how to bypass or defeat common VPN detectors or websites that can detect that you're using a VPN. So there are some websites and some services that can detect when you're using a VPN and they can detect VPN IPs and kind of block you access. A lot of times you will also discover that when websites detect you're using a VPN, they're going to serve you like an annoying CAPTCHA, which is really annoying. Some websites will even block you from using them. Some VPN websites themselves have done this in the past, which is kind of weird. Not only that, but some accounts can get flagged or you might have to re-verify accounts. Sometimes you just don't want websites knowing you're using a VPN. Additionally, if you're using a VPN and you're using their servers, people can look at your IP and identify which VPN you're using and which kind of server you're using from that. Just to give you an example, there's been a troll commenting on my website. He thought he was really clever because he was using a VPN and he had a different a couple of accounts but i was able to identify the specific ip address the specific ip address range and notice that it was from the same kind of servers and general location from there i was able to ascertain that a collection of accounts were pretty much made by the same user and that just means using a vpn it can protect your identity in some ways but it can't always detect you detect you from being kind of identified in that kind of basic manner. So even some websites like Netflix can detect you're using a VPN and make it so you can't watch geo-restricted content. So let's say you're in Japan and you wanna watch the USA version of Netflix and you just use like a regular VPN. Netflix is able to detect you're using a VPN IP address and the team is able to block it or make some kind of custom solution to block these IP ranges. So in these instances, you need a VPN that will kind of hide your VPN use on streaming websites, but there are also other ways to do it for pretty much every website as well. So pretty much every website or whatever service is detecting VPN has a couple different ways to do it. Now, how do these websites and services detect you if you're using a VPN? Well, most of the time they could kind of identify the, the series of IPs you're using and the host range. They could even look it up manually or have some kind of way to detect which IP ranges are supposed to be blocked. Like I said before in my example, I myself could do it manually and I kind of identify a user um, based on the fact they were using the same VPN over multiple accounts in the same kind of general location that they were using the VPN. So they kind of were identified in that sense. And you know, other websites can do this as well. That's because VPN IPs and stuff like that don't always look um, what is like a normal IP or a residential IP given from just an internet service provider. So there are a couple different ways that VPN detectors or websites will block VPN users. They will do stuff like soft blocking, which is gonna make you do CAPTCHAs, maybe re-verify your account and stuff like that. There are also hard blocking methods where websites actually block and deny users um, access who are using VPN IPs. This is also the case with the Tor network. If you're using Tor, a lot of times you'll notice that certain websites just won't let you use them if they detect you're using Tor, which is one reason why I think the browser is pretty problematic actually, because in a lot of times you just can't use it. So there are a couple reasons why websites use VPN detectors. One instance is that websites will use VPN detectors or ways to identify proxy users is when they have specific pricing for specific regions of the world. They don't want people in the US getting prices that you could get in India and stuff like this. One thing that used to be popular, you could get VPN, you can use VPNs to get cheaper airline flights, but a lot of these airline flights eventually found out people were doing this and found ways to detect people using VPN and prevent um, pricing from being manipulated and taken advantage of by customers using VPNs. Additionally, some websites and stuff will detect people who are using VPNs to stop displaying ads to them in specific regions or something like that that are not their real location. Additionally, some websites will even just kind of automatically assume people who are using VPNs or proxies could be assigned to scalpers, malicious users, and stuff like this. So a lot of websites will actually block VPN IPs and proxy IPs just to make sure that the website doesn't actually go down. Websites also use services to block VPN IPs um, to prevent spamming on forums and blogs, credit card fraud, 
Um, you know, some websites aren't as good at doing this as others, but some websites can detect VPN users and kind of prevent them um, from making extra accounts. Most of the time, this is kind of circumvented by users. Um, however, you can do additional methods to prevent VPN users. Like on Discord, there's phone verification and other forms of verification that go above and beyond what you can do with the VPN. So even with a VPN, sometimes you can't do um, you can't do a lot of this stuff. Some websites have found ways around it. Additionally, some gambling websites and some streaming websites out there still do block you from using their websites, um, especially sport gambling and some things like that. You can't use a VPN with it. They'll detect when you're using it and they'll block you. So what can you do if you're getting your VPN access blocked? Um, what are the common methods? What are good VPNs to get around some of these VPN detection techniques or blockages? Well, there are a couple different methods a couple different VPNs and a couple different tools we could take advantage of. One thing you could do is that if you're using the VPN you already have, you could try connecting to a different server and seeing if that will unblock the website. Make sure to clear your cache, maybe exit out of your browser, even maybe even restart your computer and try reloading the website with a different server selected. Another thing is, is that you wanna make sure you're using the most up-to-date version of your VPN client. Sometimes clients use old IP addresses that could be flagged and blocked with the websites and services or streaming services and stuff like that. So make sure to use the latest version of your VPN. Thirdly, you might wanna just get a VPN that supports dedicated IPs. Dedicated IPs are v IPs that don't look as much like VPN IPs because they're more like residential looking, ISP providing these kind of things. Um, not many VPNs actually provide these except for something like TorGuard. TorGuard is pretty cool because they actually have a TorGuard Pro bundle which includes a dedicated IP within it. This is gonna be really good for bypassing some of these VPN blockages, some of these annoying captures and stuff like this. Some websites that don't work um, could work with a dedicated IP as well. If you wanna get the VPN Pro bundle, it's a little bit pricey, but if you use code TOMPRO, you're gonna get 50% off and it's gonna be much more affordable. Additionally, I do wanna talk a little bit about the difference between observation and defeating VPN detectors. One thing is that these VPN detectors a lot of times will identify you by your IP and certain um, observation techniques like stealth VPN or changing the port often can't get around these restrictions. Sometimes all you need is a specific IP that doesn't look like a VPN. I made a video a couple weeks ago about how to get past some things like schools blocking you based on ports. You can also change your port to get past those kind of restrictions. Additionally, you can use stealth VPN to get past some deep packet inspection, make your VPN look different that way. But if you want to find more information about how to specifically kind of hide your VPN use more, then get around common VPN detection methods like in this video, go ahead and check out that one. Anyways, guys, I hope you found this video specifically on unblocking or getting past VPN detectors useful. Like I said, I think using a residential IP or dedicated IP is probably the best way to do it. Something like TorGuard is gonna to be really good for you with a TorGuard Pro bundle and Cotom Pro is gonna give you 50% off. However, there are also other methods like I mentioned before. Just as a summary, try connecting to a different server, make sure your client is up to date. And yeah, that should be pretty sufficient. Anyways guys, let me know if you like this video down in the comments down below. And I'll see you again in the next video very soon.